Assalamu alaikum and good morning. It's a new day and it's an exciting day for Air Mercy Services and Alim Dad Foundation. Today, we take with us winter warmers to a deep rural community on the border of South Africa and Swaziland. Alim Dad Foundation, in conjunction with the Department of Health and Air Mercy Services, this winter extends its humanitarian hand to further reach rural communities which haven't seen much relief in this cold winter month. Good morning and we are very fortunate with us we have the manager of AMS, A Mercy Services. Uh, thank you for giving us your time this morning. Very briefly, could you give us some background of Air Mercy Services? Air Mercy Services started in KZN in, um, on the 1st of June 1998. Um, we've been operating for the last 17 years. Thank you. Uh, this initiative between Alim Dad Foundation, the Department of Health and Air Mercy Services in extending its humanitarian hand out into rural communities across South Africa, what are your feelings and what are your thoughts about this initiative? Uh, difficult to say considering that we've been doing the outreach program for the last 17 years. It's great to see um, how people actually enjoy what you do for them. Um, the Alim Dad uh, Foundation, I mean I'm standing here with a fantastic coat because I'm quite cold so can you imagine the people out in the rural areas. So I must say thank you to the Alim Dad Foundation, to the Department of Health for authorizing this, for AMS in partner partnering with um, with the both organizations to make someone feel warm out there. Thank you so much this morning for giving us your valuable time for knowing that the manager of AMS is such a busy individual but taking that extra time and that extra hand to assist those in need not only here in around uh, the, the region but across the length and breadth of South Africa. Thank you so much. <laughs> On an annual basis, the Alim Dad Foundation rolls out its Operation Winter Warmth across the length and breadth of South Africa. This year round, with Air Mercy Services and the Department of Health KwaZulu Hotel, we are once again in a position to reach out our humanitarian gesture and our humanitarian hand deep into the rural parts of our country. This is proof that in coming together, in collecting our resources together, there is no limit to what we can achieve as South Africans in helping to uplift our impoverished communities. Our primary concern, our primary concern and our primary responsibility is to first look at our local communities and assisting our local communities in South Africa. Now very quickly, the Operation Winter Warmth, we do about 65,000 blankets across the country. That's firstly. On a daily basis, on a daily basis, we distribute 125,000 sandwiches across various massive hospitals in South Africa. Yeah. 
area is extremely uh, engulfed by poverty yes. and then the issue of housing will always come into picture. Yes. That most of these people <coughs> have a proper housing and they, some of them are, are, are not working uh, so they are likely to wear, likely to eat. Uh, they, have, they are also not accessible to job opportunities because of some ailments on some of them. And, but the issue of housing is extremely of, of great need. That this will not be the first uh, and the last time you will be seeing us. Hopefully the community here will be seeing more of us and we hope and we pray to Inkulumkulu and we pray to God that he allows us the opportunity to further reach out more uh, to this community and to all the other rural impoverished communities in South Africa. Thank you so much, Councillor, and thanks for being such a great assistance and help to your community. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sabo. I just want to extend our gratitude to the Foundation as well as Red Cross. Uh, this collaboration has benefited us, benefited us a lot. Why? Because the community, first the patients that were in here, as well as the patients and our patients and the community, they all got blankets as well as hats, uh, as well as walking sticks. All that is going to help the community because they are really in need of, of these uh, commodities. Oh, <laughs> 